everyone this is PhD natural me and welcome back to my channel I thank you for those that are subscribing I'm very excited about that if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that button subscribe don't forget to hit the bell twice so that it has those little marks on it so you don't miss any of the videos I had a, a really I don't want to say traumatic, but it was uh, an experience yesterday. I witnessed my son flying off of his skateboard and breaking his clavicle. When I saw him fly off the skateboard, he got up and I was actually in the middle of a blog. And I looked up at him and I said, okay, he got up. It's okay. And then the door is was behind me when I was, because I was sitting in the front, the door was behind me. And when he came in, he said, Mommy. And it was the way he said it. I knew before I even turned around, he was hurt. Moms know their children. Moms know the difference between Mommy and Mommy. We know the difference. I'm not saying that dads don't, but we know. And when he said my name, I went straight into nurse mode. I am a nurse. And I started assessing. Okay, I'm looking at him. Okay, he's awake. He's alert, trying to make sure that he's oriented. And he was very pale, so I had him sit down. And he said, Mommy, and he was guarding already so I knew okay I saw him fall he hit that left side what's going on my brain was just right smack into nurse mode any nurses out there you know what I'm talking about so I called my husband and I said and he also knows the different ones honey versus honey and if I call him by his first name we know something's very serious so I said we need to go to the hospital so <laughs> we get to the hospital he's guarding and now you know he's <laughs> I forget that people are not nurses like me so I'll say something I said oh it's fractured fractured that's what he my son does I said I'm sorry it's broken broken <laughs> it's funny now yes he did fracture broke his uh, clavicle but it does not need surgery so thank God that it does not need surgery and yes I do thank God Whew. so thankful so he is back home and he's in a sling and I'm trying to tell him you know don't don't slouch over and, and be bent over try to stand up as best as you can you know sit up properly but yeah I went into nurse mode and my husband had to tell me, honey, stop being a nurse. Be a mom. And sometimes we we forget as professionals, whatever profession we're in, if you're a, a doctor, you go into doctor mode. If you're an attorney, you go into attorney mode. When you're in the healthcare field, you tend to go into the mode that you know. And I went into my mode and I had to be reminded, stop being a nurse. Stop trying to diagnose the situation. Be a mom. And I went back to taking care of my son, just being a mom. And thank God he is well. I wanted to talk about also today, just my life on the road here, RV life. I've been on the road 23 days and it has been very good. I slipped out of Wonderland for a little bit and I'm almost back into Wonderland by two tenths of a point. I've gained a few, I've lost a few. I've averaged a weight gain of about four pounds over the past 23 days and I'm on the, the losing side again. I know when I started putting on, it was 
the indulgence or overindulgence of vegetables. Right now, we are staying at a friend's home and I'm so thankful they've welcomed us in and have taken care of us and just opened their arms out to us being here and it's great. And they've opened up their food pantry to us as well. Fresh corn, tomatoes, zucchini, and oh, I bought me, bought a Vegetti Pro so I can spiralize my zucchini. I made some zucchini. I know, I'm on the ADD mind right now. I spiralized zucchini and I put cheese and butter in it and made it like a, um, a cheesy, buttery zucchini zoodle. Oh my goodness, it was so good. So being prepared with the Vegetti and now this, an Instant Pot, I'm excited. I bought the Instant Pot. We had one similar a couple of years ago and my husband said he thought I told him to put it out for a garage sale or just get rid of it because it wouldn't fit in the RV. Well, I don't remember that. I have no recall of that. So I wanted an Instant Pot, but I wanted the one that was rectangular versus the round one. So this one is rectangular. I don't know if you can see that. I'm excited about it because I can Oh, I'm reading it off the box. You can sear, saute, stew, slow cook, bake, steam, roast, rice. I want rice. And keep warm. I love to wake up to food smelling good. So I probably will do it more as a crock pot and s cook things overnight. And it helps with preparation because you can make a large amount and then separate it out into meals. So I'm excited about that. Right now we are in Ohio and it, it is very humid here and I attribute some of my weight gain to that but because it's so humid my skin feels wonderful and I'm enjoying it. Food prep, vacation, gained a little bit, um, got my Instant Pot but I'm living ketogenically. I'm living a keto healthy life. I'm enjoying myself. I needed this. Life gets to you sometimes and sometimes it takes getting away to regroup. Am I completely regrouped? No, but I get a chance to regroup and I get to share here with you. I get excited about that because I get to bring you along on my journey and I get to help others. So I hope this helps and stay healthy. Keep eating keto. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Stay healthy and keep eating keto. Bye-bye.